Well, hello there. Come on in. I'm Chris Brown. I'm your humble chimney sweep. I was just going over your chimney inspection report, but now that you're here, make yourself comfortable. Let's go over it together, shall we? Okay, now let's take a look at the inspection report and see how it reads out. This is a generic report. This is exactly what you will get, only your information obviously will be filled into all these blanks. The upper right hand corner of the report is the legend. Each one of these initials pertain to something. A is consistent with the age of the chimney. B, C comments below. C, repairs needed. D, need further evaluation or E, not applicable. And they're placed into the boxes next to the parts of the chimney that can be easily identified in this diagram. And then of course you'll find my comments here below. Now let's take a look at your particular, your personal report. So stay with me. Hey Ellen, it was great to see you and meet with your client uh, out at the house today. What a beautiful house. Great location. Let's go inside. So we're looking at the den fireplace here. We've got a vented gas log set. It's important that these dampers uh, stay open 24-7. Remember, uh, the state of North Carolina wants them left open. As a matter of fact, they actually want a little block in here to block you from closing it. And the reason for that is so simple. Uh, a lot of folks will close the damper in the summertime. They're not using the fireplace. It makes perfectly good sense. But if you forgot to open it and then fired up these logs, you'd fill your house up with something that you wouldn't see or smell. You'd fill, your, fill it up with uh, carbon monoxide. Now, if it's a wood burner and you forgot to open it, smoke would come in and you'd go, aha, let's open the damper. So very important that the dampers uh, stay open 24-7. There's a little bit of gap or missing mortar here in the upper profile area. And in some fireplaces, that's actually a problem. It's not a problem in your particular case um, because of the way the chimney is structured. Flu system looks good, no problems with that. Living room fireplace, again, vented gas logs. The controllers here off to the right, simple controllers. They uh, just uh, counterclockwise turns them on, clockwise shuts them off, just like a garden hose or anything along those lines. Now this fireplace does have a damper block in it, and here's what it looks like, and that's very good. Flu system looks great. The top of those two fireplaces has a copper chimney cap on it, keeping the water and the birds and squirrels and stuff out, screen on both ends. Uh, here's a view of the flashing. Looks like it's lifting up a little bit in here, but I noticed that, uh, the, uh, that you had a roofer uh, doing the inspection work, so we'll let his uh, report speak for itself. Outside uh, fireplace, uh, open wood burning fireplace. Uh, flue system looks great. Uh, no animal protection here uh, at the top, but of course we are, it's an all outside fireplace, so if the animals want to get in, they can just crawl in, I suppose. Flu system looks good. On oh, the other thing, there's, uh, there's no damper here, not necessary on an outside fireplace, just for your noti notification there. Um, questions for me? Give me a call, 704-526-6348. You can email me at chris at affordablesweep.com. Thanks.